Vice President Sara Duterte was uh, seen in Naga City and had a meeting with her predecessor, former Vice President Lenny Robredo. This has been confirmed. Let's try and get more details on that visit. We have on the line Attorney Barry Gutierrez. Good evening, Attorney Gutierrez. Can you hear me okay? Good evening. Hello. Attorney Gutierrez, you sound like in a, you're very chirpy today. <laughs> Maraming ganap. <laughs> Lots to Madami talk. Madami nagtatanong tungkol sa ano nangyari dun sa isang uh, usapan na... Uh... Yeah. <laughs> Good to have you on the show again. It's been, uh, it's been a while. Oh, nga okay. uh, so, yeah. so, what's happening? Mm. Ano na? <clears throat> the, short, the short answer is... Uh, she, si VP Sara was there in uh, Naga, apparently, to attend the Peña Francia Festival. While she was there, she dropped by VP Lenny's house and they had a conversation about personal not political matters mm. and that's it attorney naman eh, you know we <laughs> want more than that uh, first of all we first of all we didn't even realize they were on speaking terms who initiated this visit right well cbp lenny learned that cbp sara was dropping by her house literally minutes before they arrived so tinawagan siya na o papunta si bp sara sa papunta sa bp sara sa bahay niyo and sempre and ang gagawin mo diba so diba she she received cbp sara and you know they had the, they had the conversation which lasted for around an hour uh, wait sorry so she was uh this was sprung on vp robredo she was surprised by the visit then yeah she was okay okay uh, but nevertheless she accepted the the visit uh could you tell us more about what they talked about i know you said it's personal not political but you can imagine the reason we're all keen to know more details is because you know the optics of it is quite interesting yeah actually i think this is all about the optics but as far as i know uh i wasn't there so tvp lenny told me that their conversation was mostly kumustahan diba uh Kumusta na, kumusta na yung pamilya, et cetera. And that they did not talk about anything uh, na, pol na political in, uh, in nature. Hmm. So, but beyond that, I, I don't know. Kasi pinuwento lang din naman niya sa akin. Hmm. Si VP Roberto yung nagkwento po sa inyo, attorney. Yes. And what was her feedback about the meeting? What did you think about it? Well, more than anything else, feeling ko, she was surprised. Mm -hmm. Nagulat siya na bigla siyang pinuntahan. Diba? And as I was uh, saying, uh, nalaman na lang niya, napupuntahan siya on the way na sa, sa bahay nila. Mm -hmm. okay. But then, ang sabi naman niya, uh, they had a well, relatively pleasant conversation. Politics didn't come into the picture. So I suppose, maski yung mga dating mga banggaan in public, hindi na pag-usapan. And they focused more on kumustahan sa, sa isa't isa. Sabi I namin, think baka may commonality na yun. Ano? Seen each other in, I think this is the first time they've actually met since 2016. In oh. That's why. That's why. That's why yeah. it's such a, it's, it's a bit of a shock to all of us. Uh, I, was just, really? I was just telling uh, Senator de La, Bato De La Rosa that, if I recall correctly, it was v Vice President Sara Duterte who once called former VP Robredo the fake vice president, right? So... Yes. Yeah. Yeah. That's why. So, so that's a. It's a big jump from that to suddenly going to her house for a social visit. Mm -hmm. So, we're hoping someone can fill yeah. in the blanks for us there. Well, I thought you should probably the, the person to ask would probably be VP Sara mismo, because she was the one who initiated the visit. VP mm. Lenny was simply being a good host, de ba? Sinabi po sa bahay and. Especially during Peña Francia, sanay siya naman na nag-receive eh, ng mga bisita na who are in Naga for the festival. Mm. So, you know, regardless of whatever personal political history they might have had, nung sinabihan siya na kapunta na kami sa bahay mo, eh, di ba, she, she received them. And sabi naman sa akin, they had a fairly um, pleasant conversation <laughs> sa bahay. Sabi namin baka kasi ano may commonality na sila no kasi yung budget ng OVP eh, 
eh, eh, ano na eh, inihahambing na dun sa budget ni VP Robredo nung panahon niya na 700 million nung last year ni, ni, ni VP Robredo. Yeah. Baka they have, you know, empathy for each other's plight. <laughs> Makakarelate sila sa isa't isa. She, she said it, well, ha? I, I, I guess the big difference is hindi kami humingi ng mas malaking budget. Diba? <laughs> Uh, but you know the other, uh, well, si Senator Bata de la Rosa then was in Naga City today. So again, mm. talk, talking about optics, what's happening there that's got all these powerful, high-profile mm -hmm. people visiting on the same day? I know you're gonna say Peña Francia, but did they always go every year to Peña Francia, as far as you know? Um, I don't really recall na nagpupunta sila dun. Um, Well, except for uh, si dating uh, uh, presidential council Panelo, who is from Naga. Oh, my. Pero si da Bisara, si da Senator uh, De La Rosa, I don't know whether they na tumadalaw sila before. Right. I guess uh, uh, the other question would be, has anybody from the administration, any of their bets, visited uh, the vice president, uh, the former vice president? Kasi kung nabisita ni VP, di baka meron din mula sa ano, administrasyon. Well, not that I know of. <laughs> Pero baka naman, dahil, baka naman dahil sinimula na ni VP Sara na dumalaw kay VP Lenny eh. The next few days, kung sino-sino na nadadalaw sa kanya. <laughs> okay, let's uh, move on from today's meeting. Attorney, uh, I wonder if you could talk us through something. So we just had uh, Sen former Senator Laila De Lima on the line as well a few minutes ago, and she said that they did yeah. try very hard to convince former VP Robredo to run for a Senate seat next year, but they clearly failed because she has opted to run for a mayoral, mayoral seat in Naga City. Uh, I wonder if you yeah. know more about uh, that and could share us more details. Uh, why, what was, uh, why was she flat out refusing to run for a national position? Well, to, from the beginning, si VP Lenny naman has been, has preferred to take on work that brings her closer to uh, her constituents. Even when she was vice president, she took great pains to transform the OVP into an office that uh, allowed her to actually deal more directly with uh, Filipinos from all over the uh, from all over the country so now that her term is over clearly her preference is to have a job that it's hands on and thinking being in the senate is not that kind of job from from her perspective besides you have to remember na matagal na siyang uh, Pinababalik eh, ng mga kanyang mga uh, kaprobinsya eh, <laughs> at mga kasyudad sa Naga eh. Ang uh, sabi nga nila, noong 2016, ah, 2022, pinahiram lang namin si Lenny Robredo para tumakbong uh, presidente. And hmm. this time around, I think, the clamor for her uh, from her closest supporters in, uh, in Naga to come back and run for a local position was something that hindi na niya pwedeng... Uh, i-push back ulit kasi pinagbigyan na nga siya eh, <laughs> nung 20, 2016 and 2022. So, it's a homecoming of sorts and it's also in accord with um, her own preference uh, for the kind of uh, public service that she wants to do. Just to be very clear, she will be running under the Liberal Party, is that correct? I don't know. I, 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 I don't know whether uh, she's made a final decision on that, although In 2022, she did not run under the Liberal Party. She ran as an independent. So that's probably uh, an option that she will want to explore uh, when she actually files for uh, her candidacy as mayor. All right. Mm. Uh, the Liberal Party also needed her, though. Uh, as I said, she, they were trying very hard to convince her because without her, then there is no clear opposition head. I mean, Uh, at this point, it's not clear to us who the classic or traditional opposition figurehead. Uh, that didn't sway former Vice President Robredo? Well, first of all, I don't think that it's, it's true that there is no real opposition head. But when, she, when she stepped down as Vice President, one of the first things she did was actually meet with Senator Risa Ontiveros. And she publicly mm. announced that because Senator Risa is now the uh, highest elected official in the opposition, uh, she should be uh, the, the leader of the opposition, and that all of us would be looking to Senator Risa right. for leadership, which I think Senator Risa has actually displayed 
in the last few months, diba? taking the leadership role in multiple investigations in the uh, in the Senate, uh, itong kay Alice Guo, itong kay Kibuloy. So, ako, I think that uh, when she uh, passed the torch on to uh, to Senator Rita, yeah. Yeah. Uh, it was clear uh, that she was going to be the opposition leader. Okay, fair point. Uh, we're going to have to leave that there for tonight. Uh, but if we find out there's more to today's meeting in Naga City, Attorney Gutierrez, we're going to come back to you. Uh, we're going to call you again. Of course. <laughs> <laughs> I Thank would expect no less. <laughs> it feels like there's some, you're, it feels like something's brewing. Pero iba yung tao niya, no? Oh, 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 <laughs> Baka naman you want to break Hindi, it to I, us now. I am just, you know, I am just, I find the whole situation abusing, eh. Diba na dumalaw sa bahay, biglang everybody's losing their mind. <laughs> Okay. Maybe Thank that you. was the point. Thank you so much for your time. <laughs>